Welcome back, everyone. Put your popsicles down and listen up. There is a perfect storm brewing for America to kick off the new year. Can the land of the not so free take much more disaster? I don't think so. America, aka Mystery Babylon in Revelations, is under a series of Arctic chills, resulting in one seriously frozen country. At least seven people have been confirmed dead due to the Arctic conditions, some by hypothermia and others by deadly driving. There will most likely be more before this is all over. Multiple widespread blasts of frigid air from the Arctic Circle have charged southward over the entire country, sparing only parts of southern Florida and the western region. Florida has once again faced an almost unheard of threat of snow during this polar siege. While snow warnings go out across the entire continent, the eastern seaboard shivers between ice and a cold place. A massive storm system has developed in the Atlantic near Florida to threaten everything between the Sunshine State and Canadian waters. The ferocious bomb cyclone is no laughing matter by itself. But coupled with the aforementioned Arctic surge, it may become a devastating coastal blizzard before it even leaves the warmer south. This alarming double assault is reminiscent of many prior events documented by the Lord's clergy. Since 2013, Lord Rael has repeatedly carried out what has become known as the frozen chastisement. Some of his punishments weren't even in the winter. In almost every major display of divine fury, Lord Rael has left a few calling cards to stamp his disasters so that the wise will understand. The most common of these has been his one-two punch. By hitting the whore of Babylon with an Arctic ice cube, punch two is a supercharged storm with a sub-zero path of punishment. Give yourself to God, I'm Archbishop William Scoggins and you're witnessing an act of judgment in the last days. Are you living in obedience to God and the Lord? There is a lot of passion and hard work put into delivering the truth to you. I don't want any of you to miss out on this. I hope that you'll join with me to get the latest updates as world events are rapidly unfolding. You'll be among the first to hear about it because I know what's coming, and I'm not gonna suppress any of it from you. Like and subscribe, and please continue to show your support. Let's sound the alarm and wake up others before it's too late. Please send your donations to Armageddon Broadcast Network at gmail.com on PayPal. And may God bless and protect all of you. Governments are quickly falling as massive social unrest, disease, pestilence, and financial collapse spreads across the globe. Tensions are at their peak as regional wars are breaking out everywhere. With the imminent threat of global thermonuclear war beginning at any moment as the United States and North Korea threaten mutual annihilation, all while Israel's enemies surround them, promising to end their existence. While from the sky, unprecedented numbers of meteors are skimming past Earth and entering our atmosphere, as never before seen levels of destruction batter the world with apocalyptic weather, fire, droughts, floods, massive earthquakes and simultaneous volcanic eruptions as a new sun appears in our sky. Every major end-time event predicted by Judaism, Christianity and Islam is rapidly unfolding before your eyes. Make no mistake, this is the end. And it's time for you to choose a side. Are you with the enemy who has enslaved and deceived the world, bringing darkness, destruction and death? Or do you stand with the light of the world, the one who brings us light and eternal life? our great and holy King, Lord Rael.